Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. So we are playing Ant Queen 3D again. So the wonderful developer uh, got back to me when I emailed him and said that he would look into the bugs that I was reporting with not being able to redo the Super Boss Beetle level. He has patched the game a couple of times since then and has indeed fixed the game so that I could redo the Boss Beetle level. So we are now on 20 workers, 20 nursery workers, 12 diggers, 8 replete, 21 soldiers and eight majors with another two majors on the way so we should be in a lot better position than we previously were uh, it, there were a lot of food sources around but I, I what i was trying to do was take out the bigger beetles and then i was going to leave it and cut is there no patrols on there anymore And then, uh, and then leave the biggest one and carry on building up my armies till I had something ridiculous. Unfortunately, as you can see, that did not happen. Uh, I killed the biggest beetle and that was in fact the last one. They must have sneakily killed the, the third beetle without me even noticing. Which, you know, that's great I suppose. But here we are then. So we've got 21 soldiers and 8 majors this time. I can't remember exactly where I was last time. Let me just take a very quick look. Uh, 13 soldiers and four majors we had, but we had another six soldiers on the way. So we probably got up to about 19 soldiers and four majors. So I would like to have more. We just don't really have the time for it. The dev did say he would look into potentially changing the tarantula time to give us a little bit more time to work as we don't seem to have enough time to quite hatch uh, any majors if we laid them now. Uh, hopefully we'll get enough time to get these three soldiers and these two majors out. I do have nursery workers taking care of the brood, 20 of them now, and they do nothing else but take care of the brood, feed the queen and the repletes, and then clean the mold inside of the colony. So hopefully with 20 of them, that should be enough to take care of the five eggs that we have. Uh, the workers are assisting the aphids and harvesting food in the outworld. We, still, we do still have aphids, yes. Uh, oh. Let's not explore. Uh, the diggers are just digging, so we have a huge amount of territory to use because we've been crazy with it. The repletes are just repletes. The soldiers and the super soldiers are currently just defending. So they are defending patrol zones and they are attacking any known insects. I don't know if there will be many known insects. In the previous level with the beetles, they used to spawn loads of little beetles, so food was really easy to come by. It'd be a constant stream of little beetles coming out. Don't quite have that this time, but hopefully we'll be okay. So there's a bunch of food sources down. No one's actually patrolling this zone down here. How do we... Uh... Ah, there we go. So if we just put this down to like six and two, and we'll do the same here, six and two. And the same here, six and two. And then if you can hear that in the background, that's just Molly the cat scratching the door because she's hungry, but she's going to have to wait, unfortunately. So we should have some ants on their way down here. Now, yeah, you can see them coming. Look perfect. Just in case anything does arrive there. Obviously, Mr. Tarantula is over here waiting, ready and waiting. So really, we're just waiting for these to hatch if they hatch in time, which they should do. And then we'll just crack on and attack him. I don't know if any other food sources are going to come available during this uh, during this playthrough. I'm trying to keep an eye out for any crickets or anything like that that go wandering about. So the queen has another egg. What would we want? Probably more super soldiers, right? We've only got enough space to do another one, so we may as well put one down. But then again, will that hatch in time? Probably not. That's actually the concern, isn't it? If we just slow it down a little bit, just so things don't get out of hand, how is the digging going? Well, we are completely clear. In which case, the diggers are just doing nothing. So let's give them something to do. There we go, that'll help that a little bit. We'll pop down another soldier. I'd like to try and get up to 25 if we can, but we don't have... When it gets to about 10 minutes, then we're going to have to start the attack off because we can't run the risk, really, of her uh, spawning all her little devil children. So let's spin time up a little bit. 
So one of the majors has hatched, we're up to nine majors now, so s things are moving. It's just a case of, uh, are we going to have enough? So I'm going to just skip time over a little bit, because uh, nothing too interesting to see at the moment, unless it does, in which case I'll cut you back in. But otherwise, I'll bring you back for the tarantula fight. Okay, so we've just hit the 10 minute mark. We haven't quite hit the 25 that I was hoping for, but we do have... Uh, a couple of ma- uh, yeah, at least one more major up to the ten majors, aren't we? Oh, there's some food there. Where's the, uh, where's the button? Let's enable that. So, let's have a go at selecting everyone. I'm bringing them over here. I'm ready and raring to go. And we'll hit it both again, because it seems to be a little bit if they're in the process of doing something. Like, I think I just deselected some of them by select- by clicking on them. So we'll try that again. And we just want to give people time to get over here, really. And we'll try this again, just to make sure we have as many as possible. They shouldn't be carrying any food around or anything like that, so it sh everyone should be here. It's only the workers that are on food gathering, so this should be everyone. Certainly seems to be a few of them around, doesn't it? I don't know where these guys are going. There's no food down there to gather for the workers, so I don't know what they're doing down there. But there they are, no matter. So we'll have one other go at selecting everything. I think, because they were all outside just patrolling, I think this should be everyone. In one massive bundle. So let's see if 23 soldiers and 10 mages are enough. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. So a bunch of them are going to get stuck on the web. We expect that. The workers should come and help those out. There should be enough workers to do that. We got it down to about half health last time, didn't we? We've managed to get 33 selected when we've got 22 and 10. So I don't know. We must have selected a, a lucky little worker sometime. So let's just spin time up a bit. Going further into his nest, which is a problem, because more of them are going to get stuck on the web. So he's lost one quarter of his health. So far, so good. We've lost one major and, what, one or two soldiers, I think? The workers are coming to grab the ants that are stuck on the web. Hopefully they'll be back in soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tarantula is down to one health. A bunch of them have just ran away for some reason. I don't know if something else has just appeared that they've gone to attack, but I'd rather they came back. So the tarantula is down to one health. He's down to no health. And we should be able to do this quite easily now then. Time is getting there. So he has no health, so he should be on his last little sliver of health. And they should be at the end. There he goes. Perfect. Just needed those additional numbers to take him out, but we got there in the end. Nice. So a big thanks to the dev for patching that. That's much, much appreciated. Time-wise, I don't know if there's enough time in the level. If you come into that level a little bit underprepared, like I originally did, it certainly doesn't give you any time to... Uh, it's taken a while to save, isn't it? It doesn't, doesn't give you a lot of time to actually fix that or remediate that. But now that the previous level's been fixed, at least you can go back to that and sort it out that way. So, let's continue the campaign then, shall we? And see what else we have going for us. Yeah, the cats are definitely getting hungry. It is a little bit past their food time. They are wandering in and out constantly just to tell me how hungry they are. Here's Molly now, just come in the door. So I don't know what the next level is. What's the next? Enjoy the last summer moments before hibernation. Interesting. My ants are under attack somewhere. Just that, ooh, I like the leaves floating through the air, that's cool. So these should just be on patrol and attack known things. Did the tarantula leave his body with a lot of food? Did he hell? Would have been nice if he did, but nope. Or she, don't know, don't know what sex the tarantula was. Oh, if you can hear that, that's Molly. So we're just preparing for hibernation. So I guess really we're just gathering as much food as we can. So we have a few minutes to do that, but there's not much we can really do at the moment. Maybe what we'll do is we'll put the soldiers on food gathering as well, just to make sure that any food that is there is gathered. Is it worth getting another replete down so we can get some more food? Maybe. We'll see if we can get one hatched in time. 
We might not be able to, but if we can... Yes, Molly, hello. And we could probably do some more soldiers as well, couldn't we? To boost, boost our numbers a bit is what I was going for there. And probably some more majors as well. If we can get our majors back up to 10 again. Over 20 soldiers and 10 majors, I think, should be enough to take. Oh, we took out a huge tarantula, so we should be fine, shouldn't we? Let's just slow time down a little bit while I go and check the digging situation. Yeah, there's still a little bit to clear, but whilst we can, let's extend the tunnel a bit. And we'll make some rooms off to the side of that at some point, if we have time, of course. Speaking of, let's spin time up. So I, I think we've got enough room to put another replete in. I think this one was a five, wasn't it? And there's only a couple in there. So we should be okay. Just keep an eye, see if there's anything going on. No other food. So we might not actually need the additional replete. Doesn't look like we're quite getting. We are slowly gaining food, but I think you use food per ants, per the number of ants you have. So because we have 92 ants, I think that's using up a good chunk of the food that we're gathering. I think that's how it works. Certainly the game seemed to suggest that at some point that the more ants you have, the more food you need to be gathering. So we might just actually hit that 950. Got six minutes left. It's all going to come from the aphids because we don't have anything else. What is slightly annoying is that if the... Uh... Oh, there we go. Our other replete has just been born. Look, and we have additional food now. Oh, but we don't have a storage chamber for her. Okay. I thought we might do, but obviously we do not. But we do have two empty rooms up here, don't we? So let's put down a storage chamber. We can get five in there. Four in there. So let's put it in here with the five. And that gives us plenty of room to grow then, doesn't it? So four minutes left to go. Not much going on, really. I don't know what it is we're supposed to do to prepare for hibernation, but there's not much happening in the level itself. Not many insects wandering around. Yeah, but what I was saying before that was previously in the in the previous attempt I had where I got stuck on the tarantula, I had a much better layout in terms of aphids. I had at least two aphid farms, which was wonderful. So I had to double the food coming from aphids, essentially. Don't have that now, which is a... Oh, the soldiers are on Feed the Queen. They're supposed to be on food gathering. That's my mistake. Let's just check. I'm going to slow it down before it goes anywhere. I'm just going to check. I don't want to add. I want to do that. Seven and two. Four and three. Oh, I want to get rid of that. There we go. Let's try that again. Set patrollers. Set that down to two and five. No, six we had, wasn't it? Two and six. We do have an actual uh, enemy there now. We've got 53 seconds to take it out and gather the food from it. Not a lot of time, is it? We'll give it a go, though. I don't know why it's saying activate a water source. They are activated. They're all activated. Yeah, I don't think we're going to kill it in time, are we? There are a lot of ants attacking it. We probably didn't need to tell them to attack it. It was probably because they were because the soldiers and the majors were on attack all known insects. They were probably going to be on their way anyway. So let's deselect them all and let's spin some time up a little bit. Only four seconds to go. Oh, and that was it. Okay, fantastic. So we didn't quite get to kill it. Hibernation is quite a timely thing to see, being as it's just hit winter over here in the... Uh, UK. So I've put all my ants into hibernation, of course I have. Apart from the tropical species, which doesn't hibernate. So she is still out, but she also isn't doing much at the moment either. So I've, she's just lonely in a little test tube, and I'm hoping she'll lay over the winter. So if we hit continue, what comes after hibernation? Coming out from hibernation, really, yeah? There won't be much to do whilst they're hibernating, unless we're occasionally going to wake a single ant up to go and get some water or something. That seems like it's taken a while to load. It feels like it's taken a while to load. Does that mean it's doing something amazing? Are we going to have a whole new map or something? Is the world going to change around us? Your ants are thirsty. Find water. What is going on here? Ooh. 
it has changed. An invading species of ant from Asia has landed in America. Defeat them before they ravage the ecosystem. <gasps> That's interesting, isn't it? So let's just slow time right down. So the enemy colony is down here in the bottom corners. We need to avoid them. I'm trying to just move the camera around a little bit. So we have a few water sources, one of which is activated. We could just activate all of the water sources. Is that an enemy anti-spy over there? So, let's put down some patrol zones. For our soldiers. What is this? Spawn a new queen? So put down a bunch of pheromone markers. That should get some soldiers out of the... Where is our nest, actually? Oh, we don't have any soldiers or... or um, okay. Oh, okay. Everything has changed massively then. Okay. Okay. So we still have 18 workers... 18 nursery workers, sorry. Six workers. Nine diggers. Nine repletes but nothing to attack with. And we can see their ant, can't, ant count down there. At least I said can't. That could have gone a lot worse, I suppose. So I think, first of all, let's get some soldiers down, right? And we'll try and figure out where our... Um, there is another water source there. We just can't... There we go. Where are... Where our colony is? Where's our colony? don't know. It's got to be somewhere over here because this is all lit up, right? What if I... I tell them to go over there. Speed things up a little bit. Oh, there we go. They're over there. There's our little hole. Right. Let's stop that then. What I could do is just select in a couple and just go in and run in around, really. Just looking to see if we've got any... What's this up here? More water sources. Yeah, the map is very different. It's a bit bigger, I think, than the previous one, wasn't it? What we could do with is some aphids or some food of some form. We have lots of food in store, but I'd like some more. Now, there's a little bit of food. Let's put down patrol zone here. We'll just use these little guys as explorers. Some enemy answer. Will we automatically attack them, I wonder? That's back at our nest. Let's just check down here to see if there's anything down here. Doesn't seem to be. So where are they coming across? Or is that my ants? I think that's my ants bringing stuff out, isn't it? And the other ones are the ones we're going over there to get the food. Right, okay. Solve that little problem. So we'll get some more soldiers. We won't worry about any super soldiers quite yet, any majors. I do wish that would change to an M. There's a lot of fauna around. So there is a food source there if we can get the button. There it is. Not um, what is aphids? Okay, we definitely need a patrol zone there then as well. This one over here wasn't aphids, was it? Or it was? Oh, okay. So we have two aphid sources nearby. That's good news. Get some more soldiers down. Yes, our colony is hungry. There isn't much we can do about that at the moment. 
two aphid sources will definitely help. What we really need is a lot more soldiers to try and get the patrol zones actually covered because we have got a lot of patrol zones. Because I thought I had all of my soldiers still. There's some more aphids there, so we need another patrol zone actually. And that's the enemy's colony just there. So let's take a quick look up here then. Doesn't seem like there's much else around, does there? No, okay, let's let them go then. We'll carry on making some more soldiers. And always losing more. There's our nest. Surrounded by these fronds of something. Yeah, our food is plummeting down, really. We've got loads of space. We don't really need to do any digging, but if there is if they haven't figured finished or they have haven't finished that stuff. I was gonna say we'll dig if they haven't if they finish clearing all that out, but they haven't quite yet. So all that work we did getting all of those um all those soldiers and majors built, and the game was just spat in our face essentially. It said, nope, irrelevant. So if they've got 25 ants, that's everything, right? So if we can get to like 10 soldiers and 5 majors, that would probably be enough. I wonder if you can see the enemy's ants at some point from uh, underground. Who knows? Who knows? But right now, it's just soldiers that we need. We need to get our soldier numbers up to cover, it, cover all of these ridiculous patrol zones that we put up. If we just check our... Oh, we can, we can do a nuptial flight as well. If we just check our patrol... Oh, I didn't put a patrol zone down there. So we want to put, let's say, two soldiers on each of the aphid nests. I can get to see it. And where's this other one? There it is. And we'll say two soldiers there. And we're not too worried about the ones around the water sources. Ideally, once we get there, yes, it'd be great to have all of those covered as well. But right now, oops, right now that isn't important. Food source is this? Did it, they kill something? I can't see any aphids there, so they must have done. At least that's a bit closer to home, though. Your aphids are under attack. Which aphids? Well, these ones up here, but everyone's going to run over there and attack them as soon as they can anyway. We're going to continue just spawning soldiers and just soldiers for the moment. Because that's what we really need to cover all of these zones. We do need some more workers, I suppose, as well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because they're the ones that actually go gather in the food. So... Maybe what we'll do for now is put the nursery workers on food gathering as well. So it's going to possibly slow down the soldier generation, but we do need some people out there gathering food. We've used up like three quarters of our food now, something like that. We could also, in fact, put the diggers on food gathering as well, couldn't we? So we're not too worried about digging space. We've got a thousand space free at the moment, which is plenty. Okay. So they aren't growing very fast at all, are they? We're plopping out soldiers as fast as we can, but they are taking a bit of time doing anything. So we need to get our workers up. I'll probably get a couple more nursery work. I like having 20 and 20. So the nursery workers do have additional tasks as well, such as the feeding and cleaning. So I think having a few more is quite helpful. Our colony is a little hungry. I'm hoping we can click that as well. So we have three aphids and we got 11. So I might set three soldiers to be at the aphid farms now. To leave a couple spare to do other things. So a couple more eggs, let's get some more workers out.
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm interested to see this nuptial flight and queen part of it. So I wonder if we're going to kill them and then take over their nest. Is that how it's going to work? So although there is an enemy colony, they don't actually seem to be doing anything. As in, they don't seem to be gathering food. They're not actively attacking us and trying to get the water sources. Okay, so I took a bit quick break to see the wife because she just came back from uh, from work. And I've immediately forgotten what's going on. Yeah, we've got three aphid farms. We're making some soldiers and some workers we're focusing on at the moment, aren't we? To try and get something to gather the actual food. It doesn't seem like there are going to be many enemy insects on this level. Maybe some things will attack the uh, aphids at some point, but... Doesn't seem like there's going to be many. So if we just focus on getting some workers down. Try and get up to... What's that going to be? That's going to give us 12. If we can get to like 15. And then I'll probably go back to focusing on the, the soldiers. But having three aphid nests is quite nice. Is that a little enemy? It is a little enemy, look. Are the soldiers set to attack everything they are? But they're not currently. Oh, it's no, it's a... Ant carrying some food, isn't it? Yes. Got myself very confused there. All right, then. Can get a couple more workers down. That'll get us up to 15, then, won't it? So we're at 7 and 7 and 7 and. Oh, that'll be 14, then. <laughs> I'm sure that was different at, the, at some point. Must have missed it. Okay. Yeah, so the enemy doesn't even seem to have a water source to go into, does it? It's just just hovering around here. I suppose it could be, no, because if it's going over there, I would see them appear in this little bit, wouldn't I? And they're definitely not growing at all. Right, so let's get one more worker down. Do you want a couple more nurseries? No, 18 should be fine. If we go for 15 workers and 18 nurseries... Of course, we might have to do this again because we don't know what the next level is. That's the problem. Next level could be something horrible like, oh, well, now you've taken... I imagine the next level is going to be doing the nuptial flight and generating new queens, right? Or is the next level going to be there is an enemy... The nuptial flight is happening in half hour. You have to uh, defeat the enemy and launch more queens than they do. Which could be a little challenging if we're not prepared and don't have any queens ready to go. We might have to redo some levels again. Ah, there are some... I don't know why nobody's actually attacking them. Oh, there we go. They are splitting their forces a little bit, but... The cricket's already down in health a little bit, so hopefully we should be okay. Yeah, the cricket's getting absolutely smashed, actually. Absolutely smashed. I don't know if they focus on closer food sources first... be nice if they did. Yeah, our food is going up quite fast now that we actually have some more workers out to try and get some of it. And we also put the soldiers on food gathering, didn't we? We should probably take those off. Well, so once we've got all of those hatched, we'll take them off. In the meantime, we're up to 12, 13, 14. If we get one more worker, so that's 15 soldiers. If we can get five majors... I think 15 and 5 will probably to take out the 25 enemy ants quite easily. Because they look like they're just workers. I haven't seen any soldiers. They're very slow at bringing food back, aren't they, the soldiers? Well, that one there is. Well, those workers then, maybe. I don't know. But then what are they? That's got to be a soldier. Hmm, who knows? Getting myself confused. So really, it's just a waiting game now, isn't it? Waiting for the queen's eggs to respawn. We're up to four, so we should have enough to cover most of the... Uh, let's start over with... So this should have... Two on it. It's got three on it. That's fine. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, 
8. 9, 10. And then 11, 12 up there. Yeah, 11, 11, 12, 13. Okay, perfect. Just wanted to make sure that everything had at least one ant there. So if we can get one ant there, then we'll at least see anything that comes along, and then the rest of them will rush to attack it. Pop down a couple more majors. The workers are being hatched. We're up to 12 workers now, so food should be coming in thick and fast, really. Up to 14 soldiers with one more to come. And that is our fifth major egg. So really, we are just playing the waiting game now, waiting for these nursery workers to actually hatch them. Let's just go check our nursery workers because we told them to collect food. So let's turn off their food collecting so they're just focusing on the brood. Probably might take a few minutes for them to actually stop because there are probably a few of them out actually doing food gathering tasks. So it might take them a few minutes, but hopefully they will quite soon drop back inside and start dealing with the brood again. We should hopefully move some of this on a little faster because that worker there should probably have hatched by now. In the meantime, we'll start trying to get our numbers up to where they were, shall we? So if we aim for 20 workers again, and then we'll go for 20, uh, 20 nursery, where, uh, nursery ants. Need to get another digger ideally as well. Saying that, they've probably finished at this point digging out. Where are we? Over here, isn't it? Yeah, they have, of course, finished digging this out. So we need to start digging more chambers out over here. Giving the diggers actually something to do. Probably all we can dig out for the moment. Yeah, but that's fine. At least I'll give them something to do. So that'll be 19 workers. And once we've got all of those, we can take the soldiers off of food gathering as well and get them to focus on actually patrolling, which will help us out a little bit. Yeah, because in fact, we should probably take them off now. Our food is doing quite well. We're up to 900 odds. So in fact, we could probably do with getting another replete down, if anything. We'll take the diggers off food gathering as well, because I forgot I put them on it. So yeah, nursery workers are doing the brood stuff. Workers are assisting aphids and harvesting food. Diggers are digging. Repletes are repleting. Soldiers and majors are defending and attacking, which is exactly what we want. Your colony is hungry, find food fast. We are almost at max food. I don't know where you got that from. So let's get one more worker down. Your ants are under attack. It's another cricket who's almost dead. There he goes. At least that's some nice nearby food though. The Asian ants have actually lost one of their ants somehow. They must have been attacked by something. Do they look any different? Quite pointy uh, gasters, don't they? Then so do ours, I suppose. So I don't think they do look any different, really. Right, so that's 20 workers. Let's get two more nurses down. We already have two majors hatched as well, so hopefully these last three won't be too long now. Yeah, soldiers are just all around patrolling now, which is just what you want to see, really, isn't it? Just numbers all over the place. Just so that if any insects do come by, they'll spot them and take them out too sweet. Okay, so we're not too worried about the diggers, really. We've got lots of space still. Maybe we'll get another replete down, though. Get up to 10 repletes. We have another egg ready to go. Should we get some more soldiers? Up to four major. Up oh, to five. Our last major just hatched. Look. So maybe then we'll give it a go attacking these. I suppose if we do fail, because there's no time limit, we can just. Build ourselves back up again. It's a pain, but it should be fine. 
going to have to give ourselves a little bit of a time for everyone to get here because some of them have got a fair old journey to make until they get here. So let's do the same thing where we select everyone. Look, we have max food. Look, a thousand food we have. That seems crazy. Should we get another replete? Let's get another replete, actually, then. Uh, and then we'll get another digger just to bring them up to 10. I'm assuming this is everyone, then, is it? So if I say... What does that say? Highlighted ants will enter and attack the enemy colony. Oh. There we go, look. Swarming it. So they do get to attack their actual colony. It's a very small colony, and they don't seem to have a queen. Oh, did they all run off? Because I deselected them. So they are down to nine ants. They did absolutely wreck our soldiers, you know. Absolutely wrecked them. We're down to just eight. Didn't touch the majors though, which is something. So let's put down a couple more soldiers. So we got rid of half of their they're down to four. These majors coming up should really destroy them as well, shouldn't they? Four, three soldiers. Yeah, they absolutely destroyed our soldiers. So if the next mission is like, oh, you don't have much time, but you need to attack something, we are going to be utterly screwed. So really... I don't know what they're doing here. They don't seem to be properly going inside to attack them. Or was that because they, ki they killed everything? They killed everything. I did not expect that. I thought we would be absolutely fine there. Okay, well, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on then again, because obviously we didn't get very far there. And uh, bring you back in when I got a bit more of a force. So I think we're about ready to have another go then. Unfortunately, this is the one thing with the game is when you need to do something, it does take a, well, when you need to build up forces like I have, then it does take time to do it. So it's been about 25 minutes since the last time I uh, I saw you guys. And in that time, all I've done is I just sat here and I waited for the eggs to arrive. When they arrive, I go click and that's it. There's not much to really do on this level apart from wait, unfortunately. But we are now in a position where we can take them on again. As you can see, the enemy ants have actually increased in number. So they were on, I think six, weren't they? After, we, after our initial attack and they grew up to 20. So not quite the 25 they had previously, but still up to 20. So I guess there's some sort of maybe a time limit. So when maybe it says after 20 minutes, then max goes down to 20. After 40 minutes, it goes down to 15. Maybe it's something like that. Hopefully, though, we've got enough to actually take on the enemy ants. We have 22 soldiers and 12 majors now. A pretty much massively different force to the 15 and 5 we had before. So, first things first, we are going to bring them all over here. And again, we're going to give them a little bit of time because some of them are going to come in from quite far away. You can see the last few straggle. Oh, there's the last straggler, I guess, just there. Look. I don't think we need... I mean, it does say we've got 34 selected. And there should be around... Yeah, around 34. In fact, we might have a couple more majors now. Maybe we try selecting them all again. Looks like a couple more majors have hatched. Yeah, there's one there, look. I think another one just scurried in. There's another one there. Okay, so we've now got 36. Yeah, we've got all of these selected now. 36 ants, 16 more than they have down here. And plus we have 14 majors, which should be a lot more than they have. I can't see any majors that they have. So let's say go, shall we? Here they come. So they're immediately down to 10. We've destroyed half of their force very quickly. And they've barely touched ours. We're losing a few, but not too many. Easy as that. Look at that. We smashed through it at the end there. Took us a little while to get there, but when we got there, we destroyed them, didn't we? Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. That's what I wanted the first time round, to be honest. But there we go. It'll do. It'll do. So 
after we take out that enemy colony, then I'm going to leave that there. I'm assuming the next level is going to be something to do with nuptial flights and queens, which is going to be very exciting. And maybe I have to come back to this level, like I say, and maybe try and build up more of a force and get some queens ready to go. But we'll find out next time, I guess. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, do click the like button. It's hugely appreciated. Subscribe to the channel. Co questions and comments down below. Don't forget I stream on Wednesdays. I've only got a couple of streams left now until I go away over Christmas. So if you are around, do come and say hello. It'd be wonderful to see you. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Ant Queen 3D. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.